Dave and Joe back with you, NEC Men's Basketball. Social Media Day here at Barclays Center. Central Connecticut State is here, and uh, Howie Dickenman has retired, their longtime head coach. And joining us now is Danielle Marshall in his first year, former All-American at UConn, longtime in the NBA as well. Eight teams, over 10,000 points in his playing career. He's joined by freshman Chris Williams, and uh, a lot of new going on at Central Connecticut. Uh, what's the lay of the land right now, and what do you have left on the roster, Coach? Um, it, it's, it's been great. Guys have been going very hard uh, at each other. Um, the competition level has been great. Uh, the upperclassmen have been receptive to the, to the younger guys, and the younger guys have been pushing the upperclassmen. Um, I think it's going to make us a better team, um, and, and the culture has changed, and, and the, the excitement around there is great, and, and they're ready to get started. Danielle, from what I understand, Coach Dickerman has an office on campus, and he actually started the recruiting process of you going to UConn. How close are you to him, and do you guys talk a lot? We're, we're, we're close. Um, you know, obviously he coached me, uh, helped coach me for three years at UConn. He's one of those guys who he remembered everybody's birthday that he's ever coached. He always called us on our birthday. Um, and when I would see him on the road recruiting, I would always talk to him. So even now, like, I'll go up into his office. He'll come into practice. Um, you know, we always talk. And it, it's good that, that we have that comfort because sometimes you have coaches that are coming and take over for another coach, and they don't want that, that other coach's help or that coach doesn't want to step on the, other coach, the new coach's uh, toes. But we had that past relationship, so it actually helps me out because being a first-time coach, I know I can go up there and talk to somebody who has that that um, experience and, and feel comfortable with his opinion. Chris, how do you like college so far? First year coming across the country, at least halfway across from Chicago. Um, it's great so far. The coaching staff has really done a great job of making not just only me comfortable, but everybody comfortable, especially the new guys. And um, it's just taking it one step at a time, and it's a very good learning experience so far. Your thoughts about playing for a guy that played in the NBA for 15 years, how special is that? I mean, you just said it, like he played in the NBA, so everybody has that dream of playing professional basketball, and to get it from a guy that played firsthand is a great experience. All right, you're from Chicago, Cubs or White Sox? Cubs, definitely. <laughs> all right, so they're on the ropes. They lost 6 nothing last yesterday, night. Yeah. We'll bounce back, we'll bounce back. <laughs> They've done it all year. Uh, Coach, you, you've obviously played for a lot of great ones, Jim Calhoun, uh, Coach Dickenman you mentioned, all the NBA coaches. The guys that you coached under at Ryder and at Buffalo as well. Who were the biggest influences for you, coaching-wise? You know, honestly, I've I've taken a little bit from all of them. Um, Coach Calhoun has been a big influence. You know, he's like a father figure, somebody I can call all the time. Jerry Sloan is probably my my favorite coach in the NBA. Um, I take a lot of philosophies from him. Um, I take my defensive philosophies from uh, Mike Brown, who was my coach in Cleveland. Um, you know, now as far as coaching, who I've been under as far as an assistant, uh, Coach Hobbs is somebody that I really, really respect um, and value his opinion. We talk all the time. Um, I've had some great experiences at Ryder and Buffalo as well, and I take a little bit from Kevin Baggett and Nate Oates as well. But, um, you know, my biggest influences are Coach Calhoun and probably Jerry Sloan. Austin Nels, all-rookie team. Kalen Cumberland and Mustafa Jones. These are returning guys that are going to contribute. Talk to me about Tafari Winningham, what he's going to do to your program, the fifth-year senior who transferred in, and maybe a couple of new guys you think that will contribute to hopefully your success this year. Well, Tafari, um, we're looking at him to bring leadership, toughness, um, somebody who knows how to play. Um, we've had experience at the guard spot. We thought we needed some to have some experience at the big man spot. So that's why we went after a fifth-year senior. Um, you know, Kalen's going to be KC. He, we expected him to uh, be one of the leaders, maybe leading score. Um, Austin, he can shoot that thing. Uh, you know, he, he, uh, he, he's not Steph Curry, but I, I'm going <laughs> to put him up there with that. He can, he can shoot. Um, Mustafa's playing well. But as far as the new players, uh, you know, the reason why we brought Chris here, you know, he's a freshman. A lot of times freshmen don't come to these things, but Chris has been playing well. Um, Tyson uh, Baptiste has been playing great. And uh, Harrison K has been uh, been playing great as well. So, you know, our freshmen, we brought in four freshmen. They're all going to play this year, um, and we expect big things out of them. But all of them have, have played well, well so far. Gentlemen, good luck in your rookie years, and we'll see you down the line. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, Central Connecticut State joining us here at Barclays Center. Stay tuned. We'll have our final team coming up next, the Bryant University Bulldogs, here on ESPN3 and NEC Front Row.